Hey Nina. So um, I finally figured out how I think we can make the Patreon thing work. Fantastic detail. I think the Nina Hartley show should be sort of a like on the fly, like super informal, like reality kind of thing. Like now. Yeah, like now. R rated, no nudity, right. uh, body language, like body B A W D Y right, 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 right. and B O D Y, <laughs> all kinds of body <laughs> language, but no nudity. So rated R and super on the fly like just capturing the moment. And I think if we put that out, I think that's going to draw people in. I think so. So, okay, so I, here's what I think. I think you have like a wealth of knowledge. I mean, you know that. Thank you, I've been working on it for a long time. Like really like a deep wealth of knowledge and both uh, theoretical and experiential. Uh, and, but there's, but okay, the stuff we were envisioning before, it was a little, looking back, I think we were slightly off track because we were pure, we wanted to only feature your informational content right. of like, okay, I'm Nina Hartley, you know, I used to be a porn star, I still do it a little bit, but now I'm a sex educator, so now I'm here to share information. Right. And like, yes, hell yes, like you have a ton of information to share and I want that out. But there, I, looking back, I think there's one piece missing is that you're also an entertainer. Yes, I am, so they say. <laughs> like, look, see your face just totally came alive. So like what I'm interested in is like, you're sort of transitioning out from the like super explicit phase of your entertaining. Um, although I hope you don't transition too fast. Oh no no! I'll always I'll, I'll, I'll always be involved somehow. I'll, I'll right. always be involved at least risk deep. You just wrote an article right about about doing porns in your late fifties, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. So well, I hope you keep doing it until your sixties, and you know, Thank you. Like, just keep doing it. And it's like it's kind of tapering down. It is mainly um, partly because I am more interested in other aspects of sex education and sex advocacy pleasure advocacy, um, helping me. I really, I really want younger people um, to have all the fun of sex with none of the hassle, meaning please learn from my mistakes so you don't have to make the same ones. You'll make your own mistakes, but you should not have to make my mistakes. And so um, if I can help even one person avoid something they're going to regret later, I'd like to do that. Well, I'm, I think you could avoid, uh, help, like, literally, I mean, to start thousands of people, and if we really get this going, like hundreds of thousands, even millions of people. I'm down for that. Let's do it. Let's do it. You know what? I, I think you have these two hats now. You're the, the sex educator and sex entertainer, yes. erotic entertainer, you know? And I'm really inspired by creating a situation through this Patreon, through this show we're creating, where you just get to educate and entertain. You do these two things in your public life. You do a lot of other things in your private life. But in your public life, you just do two things. You educate and you entertain the way you and want I, and to. I, and, I, and I advocate. Yes, advocate. Activism, and I too. And role model. Role model, okay. Also, I like to think of myself as a sexy fairy godmother. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm the sex fairy. Because okay, I want, sex fairy, yeah. I'm the sex fairy because my, my, in my fantasy, I come into each bedroom like the tooth fairy and go, how am I help you tonight? And, and give you that one thing that you need, that move that you need yeah. to go by, yeah. and then leave you to make your own magic. Yeah. Um, so I am the, I, 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 want to I want to sprinkle consent dust. I want to sprinkle happy dust for people to, yeah. to make, I, yeah. ideally, I will help people change their idea of sex from something horrible or painful to something fun and exciting. Yeah. Um, and that is because it can because it can be and it can happen just that quickly. Yeah. Because most of that is an attitude. Yeah. And so if I can help you sprinkle fairy dust, uh, godmother yeah. dust on your on your sex life, then I'm here to do that. Yeah. So that's like sex fairy. Like that's very sex fairy, yes, entertaining. Sex fairy. And yes. so my theory is, and right now it's a theory, is that if people come to crowdfunding sites like Patreon, where it's really like you're seeking patrons to support you. The, the proposition is like, look, let me entertain. That's what I do. I'm an entertainer. You know, you're also an educator. You're also an activist. So let, that's what I do. I educate, I entertain, and I'm an activist. Let me do that and let, uh, you know, let you all 
like provide the resources that I can do that because you know that if I have the resources, I'm going to entertain y'all. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> yes. The world will be better if you have more time and space and resources to educate and entertain and advocate and role model. Right. I agree. I'm with. Are we in agreement, agreement on that we one? Are, we are. Boom. <laughs> we see boom, eye to eye. Boom, yeah. So I'm excited to like see if we can make this Patreon thing for you and then maybe as a template for a lot of people in your position who are creating great content and adding value to the world and are finding that in our current landscape, it's like fucking hard to be, make it as a creative person, as an artist, as an educator. It is. It is. It, um, well, if you go through the traditional channels, but the Patreon model offers, of course, is direct it's not peer-to-peer -peer, it's creator to consumer um, of the product because the idea of out there in the world you know 10 or 20 or 30 friends each putting in a little bit of money to buy a chunk of real real time with me yeah um, to talk about whatever they want to talk about yeah so I because I'm here to be of service what do you need how can I yeah. help you what 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 might I offer out of my experience yeah to help you in your real time right now yeah that is really Totally. Always energizing to me. It's always been energizing to yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, because I'm out there slogging away in the forest and I come out with the bag of magic mushrooms, the, fun, the cute flowers, whatever, to tell you what's... I, I've been on the other side of the moon. I'm coming back to let you know what's on the other side of the moon. And take what you need and leave the rest. Awesome. So to close this out, just give us like one... Just speak to the person right now who who might be considering becoming your patron through patreon and just really like heart to heart feel like just give them a message like why would you like them to be your patron i would like you to be my patron so that i may help you on your journey toward sexual wholeness sexual sanity sexual satisfaction and self love and appreciation uh, there's a lot of information out there I've done a lot and I will share with you what you need from me to make your journey the best it can be that was great can I add my pitch to that of course no Michael you must be silent <laughs> I would like you viewers to become Nina's patron because I think she is truly, and I've known her for a while now, so I've seen this over many, many years. I think she's truly one of the greatest concentrations of sexual wisdom that is currently walking the planet. Well, thank you, because I, I thank you, Mike. Thank you, Michael. And my, my teaching today is to just take a compliment and say thank you. <laughs> Good. You deserve it.